What's up, guys? It's your boy, formerly known as Chicago, chilling. So, rabbit, whatever. I just got done watching Thor, Love, and Thunder. <laughs> it, it was actually a pretty good movie, but what I know about it is Marvel treats their VFX team like trash. Uh, they rush it. They don't let them finish on time. There was a scene apparently cut that I learned from 3C Films. And even two actors that played in the movie commented on how, yeah, <laughs> as up up. But besides that point, it was actually a good movie. I did like it. It's a new Marvel movie I finally saw. I saw the Minions Rise of Groot as well, but I didn't put out a review for it. So expect that review to come out maybe today or tomorrow. Who knows? But I liked it. I liked Thor Love and Thunder. It was, I mean, it was alright. <laughs> it, it was okay. And I know in a week, or probably in a week, probably a week, it's going to be on Disney+. Plus. Give it like two weeks, mostly three weeks. Uh, then it'll be straight to Disney+, Plus, and I'll probably watch it again. But Thor Love and Thunder, it was alright. <laughs> it, was, it was okay. <laughs> It's not a bad Marvel movie. I liked a lot of the scenes. It made me laugh a lot of times. Right. But. The villain was cool. The end credit scene surprising. I'm not really surprised. But oh we had to. Some way. We had some way to get a certain character. But yeah. Thor Love and Thunder. Okay I can't wait to see Thor God of Thunder. 